Oh, oh guys, welcome back to No Man's Sky. And I tell you what, these caves truly are procedurally generated. This is not the way out from which we came in, but we have been stuck under here for a very long time now and I am so grateful to see the surface. Last time we managed to get out and about and make our ship like not so broken. Uh, but unfortunately when our ship had broken we would crashed on this hellishly cold planet uh, and unfortunately when it had crashed it had leaked all its plutonium all over the surface of the planet so we had to go out and find some and I found some in the planet in the hole over there the big gash. Um, thankfully oh well but then we got lost like forever I mean ooh, that must have been a good like hour stuck under there. Uh, but we're free now. We're free and on our way to go and retop up our ship. So I will see you when I've done this long old walk back to my ship. Oh, looky, looky. Someone's come along and dumped some stuff here. Let's see. Oh, it's another Atlas drop. Uh, we got some neutral cargo here. What do we get? Uh, Gecknip. Well, like catnip, but for Gek. Oh, that'd be great. I've still not found any of these Geks. Um, I presume they're uh, not the little bipeds that we saw back there. Um, that would be great if they were, but they seemed a little bit low, low intelligence for what we've been trying to find here. Like the Gex have got words in their language, and I didn't find any, anything to say that those guys had language. All right, we are back home. Let's try and uh, not break our legs on the way down here, but also get inside our ship and grab stuff back. Mainly our heat protection. Massive amounts of heat protection is definitely what I need here. Let's jump up and over. Hi, let's get in there. Okay, so in here we should be able to hit the tab uh, and go into our starship and somewhere in here, here we go, we're going to charge it with the plutonium. Yes, this one. Thank you. Booyah! Recharge. Now, what, does that, what does that mean we do now? Woo! So now we've got to leave the planet. How do we do that? Up? Down? Left? No? Alright, so it's telling me in the bottom right, press W to take off. No? No, that's that's not what we want, is it? it? It really told me to press W to take off, and I am hammering that W button. I wonder what else we are missing. Oh, hold W. Of course, hold. As always, it's the bane of the console. Journey milestone accomplished. Drive around, do some stuff. Starship launch, yeah. So what are we going to find out and about? Well, let's not try and find our way back into a cave system. That was a little disorientating. Uh, we drive via the beauty of the mouse. That's a little bit disorientating, but we can do that. Okay, so we're going to go for the moon. Bang, zoom, and all that. Uh, accelerate faster, please. Fly up using the mouse to exit the atmosphere. So a nice little transition zone. It's, it's pretty nice really nice. I kind of feel a little bit floaty left and right with my mouse. Uh, we've still not left the atmosphere, so let's just carry on pointing up. Uh, let's use the HUD to go up to a 90 degree climb, shall we? Yes, of course we shall. Uh, I don't feel like I'm leaving the planet. How do I get uh, like an outside view of what's going on here? I, I do prefer a third person point of view when flying up. So we hit 3,000 uh, meters on my little uh, Altima on the bottom left. Altima? That, isn't that the elves out of Skyrim? Anyway, you can see on the bottom left I've got an altimeter that's just read five kilometers. So let's try and just fly around. So we've got some ships up here. That's great. I wonder if anyone speaks my language. Uh, do we fly towards them? I suppose we might as well, haven't we? Um, what do we see around? We've got some asteroids. Ooh, firing weapons. Probably not a best idea. This is the place we just left, Tweetopia. Uh, wow, I really don't like the mouse control. It's um, I, I moved my mouse a little bit and it just goes nuts. Okay, I'm looking at the radar in the middle. Uh, I, we appear to have... I don't know, I'm not sure what these balls on sticks are. Toffee apples, something like that. Uh, right, looking for the fleet. Where did the fleet go? We had a fleet around here somewhere. Well, I'm not finding the controls I want. I'm trying to find the roll and stuff like that. Ah, rolls on the strafe. Oh my god, that is not the buttons I want. Okay, so we've got some new things appearing. Like, what is this? I don't know. It's a space station. We're going to arrive in two hours. There must be a way of speeding that up some. Okay, uh, there was a little prompt telling me to press C, so let's try that. That was a scan. Oh, it's all right. Incoming signal detected. Uh, okay, how do we do this? What is this? There is a waypoint all the way over there. 
how long is this going to take to get to? An hour? Like an actual hour? A real life hour? No, good. Woo. That, that was worrying. But is this now a real life 45 minutes? That would not be good. Hold space to engage boost. Pulse engine offline insufficient fuel. Wow. Obviously, we're going to have to do something about that then. Pulse engine. With Therium, we can do that. I've got a load of that. Therium? Therium? Whatever it's supposed to be. Let's try this again. Boost. One. Go. Oh, I didn't realise there was going to be a countdown. Oh, 12 seconds. Oh, this is much better. Much, much, much better. Okay, how do I stop? <laughs> uh, this, this is kind of the next question to ask. How do we stop? Space is not doing it. Backwards? Backwards kind of did it. Three, two, if I could slow down just a bit, it does look like, ah, no, that was a little bit too much slow. Let's uh, try and get a little closer. Where is this beacon going? I don't know. So we've just been pulsed engined offline because of our planetary interference. Uh, coming in seven seconds, eight, nine, little bit of glitchiness on the uh, transition screen there. Not, not loving that, but we will deal with it. Uh, can we get in closer? Look at this. Look at this looks more like spore every second all right let's turn around and try and face this thing if we can i mean if i can't i'm just going to press e let's do it okay where are we gonna land who knows on top of a plateau of some description no doubt okay this is good we have found verdant moon or is a verdant moon uh Average amount of sentinels, weather is the mild rain. What is the temperature like? This is the question. If we could see on the left, that would be good. It's not telling me. It's not telling me. Okay, mild trek to undertake. Kind of what... I'm not loving the way that he's doing the spaceships in this game. I've got to say, um, only like... You've only got like several layers of flight available, either up in the up in the space down in the atmospheric flight but the atmospheric flight kind of doesn't interact with the surface mode and that's kind of what I wanted I wanted to be able to like seamlessly fly from atmospheric to floor and there appears to be this boundary of non-influence underway oh look on this planet you don't have to go get lost in a cave for an hour to go get plutonium well I'm staying here I'm probably not going to stay here we'll, we'll keep moving on but I want to know what this is about hey beacon you have called me forth what do you want you said something yes what? Uh, waypoint interactive beacon. Let's interact. Whoa! Thank you. That, that's definitely what I wanted, but how does this work? Navigational data. There is a perfect circle up above me. I wonder what that's about. Uh, so that tells me there's a thing over there. An outpost. 11 minutes walking. What's the, what's the deal with the voxelized rock? What's that going on about? I saw something over here as well, I think. What, what was that? Look, that question mark over there. Radio signal detected. Find life forms. Okay, let's get back to my ship. Because I'm not going to walk for 11 minutes. I'm going to uh, fly instead. So, I've made my way back to my ship. But within walking range, there's an orange beacon and a question mark. So, I'm going to go find out what they are before I get back into my ship. Because my ship just sounds a little bit boring compared to mysterious orange beacon and question mark. In fact, the mysterious orange beacon walking distance. Let's go and have a look. As in, like, walking and talking distance. So, especially with that extra sentence on the end. What do we do here? Oh, bypass chip required. I don't have a bypass chip. That type of technology is totally beyond me. I love the water. Oh, wow. The water doesn't look like a pool full of mercury. I am sold. That's it. That, that's it. That, this game was worth it just because of this. Look at it. People are asking, yeah, but what are you going to do? I'm going to look at the water that looks like water. If only it would, like, interact with the edge well. Oh, well. That's the next challenge for water animation, is getting that lapping edge right. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This is what you came here to do, is listen to a YouTuber count seconds down. What is this? Tribute to the Esnicatus? Yes, the, the Gek plaque. What is this going to do? It gets some golden balls moving. I convulse as I reach out and touch the beautiful stone marker. My mind filling with deadly knowledge of the true history of the Gek. We are masters of galaxies, the overlords of the cosmos. Each foe will submit with bended knee to the almighty Gek dominion. We are first spawn and look upon our works in despair. Alright mate, seriously. Wow. Seek help with language. 
press and hold, thank you, not click. My knowledge of the Gek increases. Alright, nice. So, who are these Gek people? What's going on? I thought they were going to be the local inhabitants, but it turns out no. No, they're not. Okay, so I'm even further away from stuff than I was to begin with. I'll be right back. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here and find out what these signs of intelligent life are all about. Uh, I've got a feeling I'm going to be massively disappointed, but we press and hold W to get going, do we? Yes, we could press and hold W to get going, and then fly over this way somehow. All right, this feels a little bit more more integrated now than the arrival. Uh, we'll see what's going on when we get over there. Is that gold on the hillside? Was that gold? I don't know. I found some in the hole when we were down getting lost, but everything should be all right. Where are we going? What can we see? Oh, I've started moving the mouse around in funny manners, so things are going to be a bit weird. Could we uh, straighten up, please? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, arrival at this outpost. I'm just going to press E and initiate the landing sequence. There appears to be somewhere to land over there, but I think I'm not going to really be able to fly well on this until I get my uh, steam controller busted out and working on it. Look, there's a massive lump of gold just over there. Is that is that really a thing? I love this place more than that Arctic wasteland and we, where we've just left. Uh, this feels a lot nicer. Oh, I have discovered Udwili grassland or something like that. Was that question mark there when we looked over? And the real question, is that a mountain of gold over there? We will have to check that out. But what's going on here? This is a beacon that we had... Uh, not previously triggered, but we have triggered something like it before. Oh, there's a save. Yeah, I'll take that. Thanks. I didn't know there were external save points outside of your spaceship. That's pretty good. I love that. It even tells you what date I did this on. Okay, cool. Let's go through and see what's going on here. This is what we're here for. We have detected intelligent life forms. We're going to go in and have a look, see what's going on. I've got a feeling we're going to be very confused. Hey! Yeah? Really? How are you doing? You look... Hmm, interesting. Specialist Lovch. Let's interact, shall we? My inventory is full. What's my inventory got to do with it? Okay, let's see what we can uh, pump across. My background's changed colour. That's interesting. Okay, so that moved everything out of my inventory. Let's have an interact with him. Hi, how are you doing? Yes, really. Okay. Zoflink Timur Yarbar Ville Fnaj Fnek Kelmon Vudbdu I don't know how to pronounce those Avaka Alkon Ava Ganging Safakis Right? That's exactly what I said there. A lone creature awaits me, a diminutive, beaked, unthreatening. It regards me with passing curiosity, chatters briefly in a language I cannot comprehend, then passes me on a slate. With a start, I realise that I can understand the text on it. In disbelief, I try to catch the creature's eye, but it's already turned away. No, he's looking at me. In disinterest, I suspect it is a mere courier, not the author of this message. This slate also contains the blueprint for a new technology. Hyperdrive. Hyperdrive. Yeah. yeah. Instructions on how to build my own path through the stars. This will be invaluable. The squat being busy itself at the ter terminal, avoiding my gaze, waiting for me to go. Wow. Okay, that's a thing. Uh, we need to build a dynamic resonator and gather a load of hedarium. We, we should be able to get that. We should be able to get that. Let's have a look outside, shall we? It's looking good. There's some sentinels and some, uh, well, a landing pad of some description. Maybe we should have brought the plane here. Plane? Spaceship? Whatever it is. Okay, so the next thing to check before we completely wrap up Let's just do another quick save. Is, of course, to go and see if we can get some of that gold. That gold is a must, right? That gold is not. Where, where was it? I saw it over here somewhere. All right, well, here's a massive lump of something. And whilst I was walking over, it told me that there's a space station up there, off planet. So we're going to try and get to that. It is gold. It is gold. Now, I have been told by a few of my friends who are playing this to be wary around gold. You blow up too much and the sentinels come and have a pop at you. But I think we can grab some, right? Yeah, that's good, right? Gold? Uh, yeah, no, we're going to keep this. Okay, I'm going to mine some gold before heading back to my ship. This is such a lush planet. I think of all the planets I've been to so far, you know, this one and the Arctic Waste, 
I am definitely thinking of settling down here, at least having a bit of a look around. But I have just got my hyperdrive. Uh, also found intelligent species and wanting to go off to the space station. But with all of that that we have achieved today, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time where we're going to try and find out what the space station is about. Maybe build our hyperdrive. Have a small explore around this planet and see what it has to offer for us but so far all i can see is plutonium but yes i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye